Hello, Ahog! Happy New Year! So, welcome to my first ever speed paint on this channel. So I wanted to make a new header for 2023. You know, something that was different than the old one. So this video will show the process of that, as well as me recapping about the year previously. I will be also talking about, you know, the art that you see on screen. But before I do that, I actually wanted to read the uh, recap post I've posted everywhere but on my YouTube community. So I hope it will be enjoyed. Sit back, relax, eat some popcorn, and have some fun. Let's get into it. Happy New Year, Ahahong! So it is now 2023 in Sweden, so I wish to recap on the year of 2022 yet again and give you all some lovely clowny updates, Ahahong! Before we start though, I should mention that this year has been not the best for me, especially in terms of mental health and productivity on Sinking Road. I really wanted to finish two scenes of Sinking Road this year, and I know I could have if it wasn't for everything else coming in between. Specifically about me going CBT therapy for my OCD slash anxiety, and then having to resort to SSRIs instead. It's been getting better since then though, so I am happy to have made that decision. As well as some other personal stuff I can't mention, but basically this year has been a lot. And I'm hoping for a better 23. Let's get right into it with... 1. This year I managed to finish scene 4 of Sinking Road! I am currently soon done in betweening the first half of scene 5 too, which is awesome! Honk. For the new year, however, I wish to finally complete at least two scenes like I wish for this year. Wish me luck! 23 will be the third year of production in late April. Hope y'all are excited! 2. I got to finally visit my hun again after three years due to the pandemic! Around my birthday and Halloween. That also explains why I've been quite busy this year. To be fair, can you blame me? It's the love of my life after all. <laughs> Number 3. In September, I released a visual novel called The Seven Living Sins. A trailer for it can be found on my YouTube channel. But also a full gameplay in case, you know, you have a Mac or... For whatever other reason you just can't play it. Since it is mostly story driven and not really gameplay driven, you don't really actually need to download it to enjoy it. So do what you are most comfortable with. Even though I had to rush it at the end because it was for the Sunofest jam on itch.io, I'm super proud of it, and people seem to have loved it. In fact, I still can't believe it, but fucking Dread XP wrote an article about it! <sighs> I'll link it in the description. Seriously, one of the highlights of the year. Still makes me shit in happiness. <laughs> Four. In October, I managed to complete this year's Halloween project, Oivin's Mansion Visit. If you haven't seen it, it should be on my channel. It's probably one of my most advanced Halloween projects since Wayward's House, but due to that, it was delayed. So happy that despite the delay, that you guys felt it was worth the wait. Because I'm surely super proud of it. I'm so happy you guys enjoyed it too. <laughs> now, for this year... I'll be planning a lot earlier, because what I'll start for next year's Halloween will be a project I do every year until that story ends. I won't say what it is yet, but let's just say, keep your eyes peeled, hunk. <laughs> My catchphrase is a hint. Number 5! Released my 100% orange juice mod to the world. That should be one of my newest videos. I've also streamed it. That should be in the live tab. In a semi-unfinished state, mind you. But literally only some days after I released the mod, the main game released three new characters. So, um, I don't think you guys can blame me for saying fuck it and releasing it publicly anyway, right? <laughs> Number six, I've made my toy house a lot prettier. I always link my toy house in the description. It's basically like a character hub. It's where you can read about all my characters and see pictures of them. 
uh, you know, mind, mind you, I haven't written every single bio for them yet. I have so many characters. But, um, you know, for the most important ones and the ones I show off a lot, I've written bios for. So you can go read that. I started diving into CSS and more HTMLs on my page, so it's an exciting thing. On that topic, though, I've written more of my characters' bios and plan to write more and completely rewrite older ones like Sinking Road's bios this upcoming year. 7. This year, I also commissioned the amazing Kindly Alligator for a minigame called the Bouncy Dumbleine! A link will be then in the description as well as a link to the trailer. It's a very short little game. You can play at any time, similar to WarioWare games. And it's super simple. Try to get to 100 points, I dare you. <laughs> Eight. A little thing I almost forgot about I did yesterday. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't read. Okay. Eight. A little thing I almost forgot about. WHY CAN'T I READ?! HOLD ON! Alright, I'm keeping this in. You guys get to hear how- how much I struggle on this. 8. A little thing I almost forgot about that I did this year is that I wrote my first ever Toy House literature. If you haven't read it yet and have the time to read a one-shot story with the Tree of Sephs, here it is! Enjoy! It's gonna be linked in the description. Now, the question lies. What are some goals for the new year? Well, I'm hoping to finally make my Neo Cities and promote my Patreon more. Plus, maybe put some more merch. Some smaller shameless plugs there. I'll, I'll, I'll link them in the description. Though my Patreon should always be in the description. Then I am hoping to reach 2k on Twitter. Again, that will also be linked in the description. Says I have reached 2k on YouTube this year, which is ultra exciting! Oh, super excited and happy about that. Thank you guys so much, it really means a lot. Then I just wish to get closer and talk to my pals more. They've been keeping me motivated for years with my projects, and I wish to get even closer to every old and new friend of mine. That is all for this year! Quite a lot, ain't it? I'm as shocked as you are. Let's hope 23 will be even crazier. I hope you all take care, and Happy New Year's, Ahog. <laughs> and that's a wrap! At least for the update post. Now, uh, I want to mention two more things. I have two videos planned for the future. Ones that are outside of the norm of what I usually do. You know, posting animations and all that shenanigans. So, the first one I really want to do is a Dumble Trait and Dwerm series, informational series, where I talk about where me and Broccoli talk about, well, Dumble Traits, Dwerm, Chaos, all that lore stuff. To hopefully give you guys a better idea of uh, Dumble Traits and Dwerm and all that stuff, you know. I've had this species since I was 15, and even so, the, the sheet on Toy House is like basically unfinished. I will be, uh, alongside the, uh, video series, I will be actually, like, remaking the sheet and putting more information out there. Even so, don't ever be afraid to ask me anything. Number two, I actually really want to make a video where I explain my stories and the characters within those stories in a sort of TLDR sort of format. I hope that sounds fun! Like, I I'm guessing you guys are here for my stories, I figured, you know. It's a good way to put it out there without you guys having to read uh, pages and pages and pages of bios on Toy House. Of, you know, the characters and trying to figure out the story itself. So, I think it will be a good thing to do, you know? It will be fun! And then I wanted to say before we move on to the video, thank you guys so much for your patience. It seriously means a lot. I know it's Sinking Road, it's going to take a couple more years for it to be finished. I'm aiming for 25, like 2025, but it's not a hard deadline. 
I don't know when it will be done. But the good thing is, is that I've gotten faster as an animator working on it almost every day. So I'm super happy. I hope that that means for my future stories that I also wish to make into, you know, long animated movies where I'm the only fucking animator. <laughs> um, that it will be faster, like it will be done faster. Well, that's it for that. Let's comment about the video, shall we? So currently I've drawn myself and Broccolina and now I'm drawing Boris. I love drawing Boris. Now see, in this composition, I got very inspired by Delightful. That's also why I'm doing a speed paint, because she did a speed paint of her uh, header. And banner and stuff, and it was, it, it was so fun to watch, so I wanted to do it too. And I was inspired with the whole layout of the characters and everything. Obviously because of that I couldn't fit in all the characters. And there were some I forgot to add. But I will be updating the header with some like mini additions in the future. Oh, look at the squad. We have my Sona in the middle, and uh, that's a given, but Broccolina and, and Boris are on the side, right next to me because they're my favorite characters, so they get to be close. But I put Dottie pretty close too because, you know, Sinking Road and Dottie. I actually included three characters from Sinking Road in this header because, you know, I figured since that's the story I'm currently animating, it's my passion project at the moment, that it deserves to get even more, you know, recognition on this header. Says I will be updating the header uh, as, you know, I, I might make it a yearly thing. It would be fun, but we'll see. I've always really liked the asymmetry I gave Dottie. Oh yeah, and I added a ring, but I didn't really have the reference for that. I could have pulled it up, but I didn't. Keytune! He's so fun to draw. I do want to say, since, you know, I didn't get to comment on them, Broccolina, she was the hardest one to draw for this, which is surprising because she's the one I draw all the time. She's the character I draw all the time. Like, she's my favorite of all time. Yet, I was struggling the most with her, but I'm proud of how she turned out. So, you know, the struggle was uh, real, but very worth it. Then with Boris, it's like, he's always a little hard to draw only because of his uh, IV stand. But it's worth it. It's surely a character trait I do not want to remove for simplicity. More disability rep. It's needed. I know that the arm that I gave Keytune is not really that accurate. But it's fine. He's a tune. He can he can change his proportions. It's fine. I'm drawing Appetitio. He's so big that it's like hard to fit his entire self. So it's just his head. He's 14 feet tall. He's so big. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, I made all the music that's playing right now, <laughs> including this one. Don't don't ask what kind of drugs I was on when I made it. <laughs> the type of drugs I was on was this. <laughs> oh yeah, Estelle. Estelle is actually one of my favorite designs I've ever made. I love her. 
I've been recently into the Terra Trio, actually, so I've finished writing all of their bios, which is good, because it's the story with the most characters. Estelle is my daughter. I just love her. Allurange. You look like an orange. Allurange. Dreamer's gonna be a really weird story to animate when I get to it. Because that's gonna have to be episodic. Given it's an anthology with a lot of stories. But I can't wait to get to animate Allura. Fun fact about Dreamer, the story that made me make Dreamer was actually Charlize's story. I love doing the line art where it's like slightly thicker on the outside, like a sticker. Ah, Two-Tone. He's so in the back, it's hard to see him. But at least he's recognizable. His beautiful eyelashes and eyes. By the way, it's probably obvious, but I love drawing androgynous character designs. Yet I'm confused when people say, wow, that's so gender. <laughs> nah, I'm not actually confused about it, I get it. <laughs> I wish I was a Dumbler trait too. She's also very close, because I consider her my third favorite. It's super hard for me to pick third favorite character, because it's like, Broccolina, obviously number one. Boris, obviously number two. Number three? Oh, I don't know. But I think it's Gizmo. She's just been around a lot, and I just love her. I've drawn her a lot, and she's just my baby. I call her baby, but she's 25, so she's older than me. At least uh, until I turn 25, because my characters don't age, but I do. Or, well, that's that's sort of a lie. I mean, they age if they do in lore, but not when it's actually their birthdays IRL. <laughs> By the way, the reason I give my characters birthdays is because it gives me an excuse to draw them. Yeah. I hyperfixate about my own characters. Sorry, not sorry. We play ship with Boy. I have autism. I swear to god though, if I didn't have autism, I would not have the patience to do Sinking Road. <laughs> Ehira. Sense of Mystery is a weird story. Kind of dark. It has some silly aspects, like all my stories. I always include some comedic thing in it, but it's pretty dark.
Oh, Sherry. Sherry's a really fun character. Some fun facts about her. She was supposed to be an adopt. I just did her from a palette challenge. But I fell in love with her design so much, I just couldn't give her away. I'm happy I, I didn't, because I came up with Sherry Sherry for it. And then I sort of decided that, you know, her and her gang suits, um... Uh, the suits! <laughs> that was unintentional! <laughs> suits the uh, card suits. She's hearts. Quartz is uh, clubs. Azul is spades. And Forest is diamonds. By the way, I have no idea when I'll finish Sherry Sherry. It's sort of a side project. I'm working on it. Like, but because it's not my priority, it's just sort of on the side. Ah, oh, Kristen. So many people think you're so pretty, but she's ace in both aspects. A romantic, asexual, arrow ace. See, I don't remember these terms. My hun is a lot better at it. <laughs> By the way, fun fact, usually my characters are bi unless stated otherwise. But speaking of stated otherwise, here we have Bruno. He's very gay. <laughs> now, something sad to say about Bruno here. I miscolored his nose. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Look at it. It looks like ass. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. I'll fix it in the future. I promise. <laughs> Ooh, Keter. Keter and Dot. The Tree of Sefs has become one of my favorite groups of characters. I just love them. They're silly goobers. My scream blows. Oh, my scream blows. My scrungly glee blows. You're the blower boy of my life. I love Keter because he's just such an angsty teen boy. Well, look at this. I did all the composition off screen, but here it is, all finished. Thank you guys for watching and happy new year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>